All right, that's all for today. Um, glad you guys are here. This is tough stuff. I just want to acknowledge that. If you're feeling a little bit confused, if you're feeling a little bit lost, this is a great time to come in for some conceptual help. So as always uh, today, we have conceptual office hours multiple times during the day. You are also welcome to jump on the help site whenever it's open and ask a conceptual question. The help site is not just for problems with the homework problems or other things. It's a resource for you whenever you need help with some of these type of topics. The other thing I'll point out, and you know, I would always encourage you to do this, is that the internet is full of other explanations of polymorphism. So if you Google this, this is a concept that you know many times beginners struggle with, and so there's lots of really great explanations out there that I'm sure you can find pretty easily that are probably better than mine. Uh, so I would encourage you to make use of that resource. Um, so you know, however you do it, please do spend some time you know trying to understand these concepts. We're going to get more practice. We're going to continue to expose you to these ideas in different ways and in different contexts and show you them at use in the wild, right, in real Java code. Um, but, you know, this is one of those things that also needs a little bit of thought, right? It needs a little bit of contemplation, a little bit of consideration about how some of these concepts work and how they're playing out in your code. And also, again, as we go forward, we'll help you identify them over and over again. You'll start to see patterns and some of this stuff will start to fall into place. So... Hope you enjoy the rest of your day uh, and I'll see you tomorrow.